Thank you, my fellow Californians, who have come so far to answer the call to service put forth by the Republic. It is for you that I have come here, and it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Born in a tin shack on the outskirts of one pine, Jeremy Watson never had an easy seat. His father worked as a caravan guard on the short road, and his mother, like many Californians, braved the ruins of the old world as a prospector. They, they suffered, suffered through water shortages, raider attacks, attacks, and, and the Brotherhood of War. Like our mighty Sierra Nevadas, they endured. But the time came when they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve years ago, they called out for help, and the Republic heard of them. Troopers, rangers just like you, answered the clarion call. Men and women stepped forward to say, I will carry the weight. And at Owens Lake, Lake, we made made true on our promise, driving out the raider tribes tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We We carried the weight, weight. and though we we left left behind many many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did did not break us. us. Ten Ten years ago, Chief Elise met with representatives of the Desert Rangers Rangers to discuss discuss terms terms of what would become the Ranger Unification Unification Treaty. Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the desert rangers into the Republic. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's legion and the tyranny of his regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What is Nevada to us? Sometimes we forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. Sometimes, Sometimes we, we take, take those privileges for granted that our forebears fought so hard to achieve. We must, we must always remember that wherever Californians stand, we carry our principles, principles with us. Equal respect, representation, and protection under the laws of a just republic. This was the same fire that burned in the heart of the old world that preceded us. We are the heirs of that civilization, torturers eastward of the Pacific, into the darkness of this wasted land. When the Republic called the men and women of California to carry that fire across the Mojave, Jeremy Watson answered, You answered, Together you carry the weight. And when E.F.C. Watson's platoon came under attack at forlorn hope, he took, took the greatest great risk. risk, not only for his fellow Californians, but for California itself. He was prepared to make the most noble of sacrifices to defend the principles of our Republic, even here, on Nevada soil. His actions are a beacon to all of us who stand here today in tribute to his power. Private First Class Jeremy Watson, on behalf of the Senate and the people of the new California Republic, it is my honor to present you with the Star of Sierra Madre. Not far from this spot, a monument stands as a tribute to the sacrifice made by those who came before us. The men and women who fulfilled the promise we made to the desert rangers. Its back is inscribed with the names of the troopers and rangers who carried the weight. And because they made the most noble sacrifices, it did not break us. Four years ago, we held this dam. Four years ago, we carried the weight. Four years ago, we drew a line through the Mojave as clear as the Colorado River. A line that Caesar cannot cross. Today, you stand here with our brothers and sisters to hold that line. Today, you honor all Californians by carrying that weight. Today, you are the waves of the Pacific, pushing ever eastward. You are the sequoias rising from the Sierra Nevadas 
defiance, and enduring. You are the great western light of California, torchbearers in the darkness, living reminders of all that is best in our republic. Thank you. Thank you. Morning. 